Now I'll fish with one of these on a guide trip, a bait caster, and, and generally the people who fish with me, my clients, will be on spinning rods. And they have a lot of questions about, you know, what is the difference between a bait caster and a spin caster? And there's a lot of differences, but the main one I find is spinning rods. The guides are located on the bottom side of the rod, whereas bait casting rods, guides are located on the top. What does that mean? That means instead of pulling contact points on individual guides, you really have a lot of pulling power because the, the, the spine of the rod is pulling and holding this fish. So if you have a situation where you need to lift fish, um, get them out of cover quickly, show them where to go, the bait casting rods can be a distinct advantage. Also, you'll notice bait casting rods, the guides here, they're pretty much virtually the same size all the way down. And the fundamental reason is that on the, on the bait casters, your line's coming out pretty much on the same plane. Now, when you're dealing with your spinning rods, you'll notice that the first guide is larger, smaller, smaller, smaller. So that line is rifling through there. That's one of the main differences is location of guides and guide size.